Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 43 of MC Eternal. Oh yeah. Uh, hey, I did a little bit of work between episodes, because we spent about two or three episodes working on this, so I cleaned it up a little bit between episodes, and I added a little bit more logic to it, which I think has made this thing pretty close to perfect. <clears throat> so... With that said, I'm going to walk you through what I did because it took me a little bit to really get it finalized and finessed, but I think it's cool. So, um, mostly what we have over here has remained unchanged. So as a reminder, hey, dude, come on, I'm trying to explain things. One of these days I'll put a door on my house, but not today. Okay, maybe today, but not today. Um, so one of the things we did between episodes was, or, 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 or over the course of the last episodes, let's recap what we had, right? So we had a block reader, which tells us the stats of the seed in the particular block that we're looking at. We had a, a player simulator that would place uh, crop sticks for us. Uh, and we also had a player simulator that was responsible for placing seeds or another set of crop sticks uh, as needed. Right? So this whole setup has remained unchanged. We also uh, had a redstone signal going off to trigger a break block, to, to break the block that's in the place. Right, um, So that stuff has remained unchanged. What I added is the following. So I've got um, the items getting pulled out of the uh, miners here using retrievers from Thermal. And what I've got is any kind of rubber seed goes into this tiny little chest with one slot in it. Uh, any kind of uh, crop stick goes into this chest back here. So crop sticks go back there. And then anything that's not a rubber seed and not a crop stick uh, goes into here. Cool. So basically seeds go in here, uh, crop sticks goes in here, and anything that's not a seed and not a crop stick goes in there. How cool is that? Um, now, what I've done is I've chosen to analyze the seed that we got out of these things. Now, as a reminder, right, generally speaking, let's focus on the center one, which should be better or equal to the adjacent seeds. What I basically did uh, is analyzed, similar to what we did last uh, episode with this guy, we analyzed the seed that's in this slot. And then I have uh, some Boolean logic here that basically compares the total value of the seed, like these guys, with both the left and the right slot. If if that seed is better than either the left or the right slot, this guy imports all items into channel three. And channel three boop, 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 is over here. At which point the same logic we had from last episode, this has remained unchanged, says, all right, this seed we know to be better or, or uh, definitely better than one of those two, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it in either the left or right slot, depending on the logic that we had from last episode, right? Then I basically have a not condition there and says if the opposite is true, right? If it's not better than one of those two seeds, then we um, pull this guy out to channel 20, which is what I have over here, which this, as you guys recall, used to be my trash can. I used to have a trash can in this block space. I replaced it with a chest while I was testing. Cool? How neat is that? So long story short, if we have like a, a weaker seed here, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one, the four, two, five, right? If that lands in this chest, it'll read it and it'll do nothing, right? And the four, two, five landed in here. If it's a better seed than what's over there, it'll break one of the crops and uh, place it in its place. Now, we just so happened to have a fully grown seed because as I was testing this and, and finessing that system, uh, we, uh, we got these seeds perfect. So they're a perfect 30, 30, 30 rubber seed. How great is that? Um, so long story short, nothing uh, that I've done here is any different than what I have done in the last couple episodes. The only block that's different is the importer. Uh, think of this importer like the applied energistics or refined storage importer in that you import from this chest into the logic network, right? So uh, we import items based on criteria. So right now the criteria is false uh, and this criteria is false. And, and that's the end of the story, right? Only other little nuances to mention. Um, I also do a check to make sure that the inventory is not empty because sometimes it remembers the stats of the seed that was in there after it gets pulled out. So not only do I check the stats of the seed here for these logics, but I also check to make sure that the inventory is not empty before activating the input. Uh, the other thing that I did is I found that if you leave these guys at the default of doing one tick per operation, 
Uh, they go ahead and, and sometimes race condition with each other and fight each other. And sometimes we get seeds in there that shouldn't go in there. So what I've done is made it so that this guy operates every 10 ticks, so every half a second. And this guy operates every five ticks. Uh, and, and this logic here does the analyzation every one tick. So we quickly get a status update, then we pull items out. It works out for the best. So let's test it, shall we? One of the things I wanted to do today was get some good Inferium seeds, right? If we're going to be playing with mystical agriculture, we're going to want a lot of Inferium. So what I'd like to make is Inferium seeds tier 5. But in addition to that, I'd like to use a Master Infusion Crystal if I can, because they're actually surprisingly cheap in this pack. Oh, other things I want to mention, um, because it's actually been a day or two since I've recorded because I had stuff going on. But I did update the pack, the entire mod pack, to the latest version, okay? Some changes in the latest version are Astral Sorcery has been added, so it's no longer added by me. It's already in the pack. Hooray! Uh, in addition to that, uh, he disabled weeds in Agricraft, so there's no more weeds, which is nice. We don't have to worry about weeds anymore. Weeds are done. Hooray! Um, not that my system had a problem with weeds, but like now they, they're not even a, a factor. So weeds are no longer a thing. So we don't even have to worry about those no more, which is cool. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that. So let's take a look at Mystical Agriculture. I've got two Supremium Essence that we got from Killing the Wither. I'm going to craft two more using the auto crafting that I set up previously. And then we're going to modify the auto crafting to instead of using Infusion Crystals to use Master Infusion Crystals. As we've seen in previous iterations of playing with this, Auto crafting essence is slow. Holy cow, is it slow? Um, because it's just you know, there's lots of crafts that have to happen, right? Like getting to getting to supremium essence takes a long time, so that's a thing. All right, so let's make a master infusion stone and let's change the recipes that we've got um, for these things. Right, right, yeah, there's the, that one. That's the one I want. Yes, bada bing, bada boom. So what I'm gonna do to make this faster, um, I could add acceleration cards to the molecular assemblers. Totally true, totally true. But it's still not gonna be that fast. Uh, the fastest way that I've found to do this is to use RF Tools Crafter. Uh, the Crafter Tier 3 specifically, I think, is the one we want. Well, technically Tier 2 would work, I think. I think. Um, so I mean, like, we could try that. Oh, I need more wood. I am going to need to get a wood farm going. Wow, I really need more wood. <laughs> I've been comically low on wood. Oh, that's adorable. Dire, please. Get with the program. Get with it. Dire Wolf. Please. All right. Um, we, we really need to get our wood farm back. I'm gonna go, and I want to do it with rats. I want to do it with rats. This is why I haven't done it yet. Right? I haven't done it yet because I want to do it with rats. Wow. Really? 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 We are low on all the woods. I mean, to be fair, I did just use a lot of woods for, you know, crafting purposes. Um, but there's my crafter tier one. There's my crafter tier two. Maybe I should get like wood seeds. No, we're gonna do it with rats. Cause that'll be cool. So crafter tier two should be good, right? Cause that'll give me four recipes. That'll be, you know, one, two, three, four. And if we need to upgrade this to a tier three, I think we can. So let's do this with an interface rather than doing it uh, with the old method. And what I'm also gonna do what I'm also going to do is I'm going to adjust these recipes here um, to be not crafting patterns. And I'm going to remove the need for that. Cool. So you're going to be a not crafting pattern, and I'm going to remove the need for that. You're going to be a not crafting pattern, and I'm going to remove the need for that. And you're going to be a not crafting pattern, and I'm going to remove the need for that. So I'm basically going to say, place into this machine four intermediate essence and we'll get some superior essence cool beans should be fun so where do i want to stick this guy so that's doing all that stuff over there that's doing also like it's technically auto crafting but it's like not really auto crafting though it's sort of auto crafting how are you for channels you've got one of eight channels in use i can stick you over here right yeah i don't see why not uh, mechanism universal cables yay and mechanism Elite Universal Cables, Elite Logistical Transporters. Now, if I got an Atomic Alloy, what I should really do is teach you how to how to get me some good transfer pipes, because I've been using a lot of these, right? Um, so what I think I'd like you to do is to know how to make these, which means knowing how to make these, which means knowing how to make these, 
Kane's knowing how to make these. And you should know how to make all that. Right? Cool. So I want the top tier, which is the ultimate. We're missing basic control circuits. We don't know how to make those yet. Oh, killing me, Smalls. What are you doing? What are you doing, Direwolf? How do you not know how to make that? Uh, but basically, it's just... No, that's not right. Uh, it's Osmium, right? And that goes into the redstone one, the redstone factory. I think that's the same as you, right? One iron out. Yeah, that's that one, right? Ultimate. So that should cook, right? Everybody should be groovy there. Now, do ultimates connect to elites? I don't even know. That's the thing we're about to find out, though, right? I think so. Hooray, ultimates. So I should have got 16 of those, right? Nice. Do you guys connect? Can you be friends? <gasps> you can. Hooray. All right, crafter tier two. Uh, where's my this thingy? You're going to extract from there. You've got power coming in. Uh, you had power coming in. Advanced universal cables. Now you've got power coming in. I'm going to put you in fast mode. Uh, and I'm going to put you on redstone signal on to activate. That's just a temporary measure because we're going to want to do stuffs, right? Um, so let's do... Because we have to teach these things manually how stuff works. So I'm going to get a couple stacks of this, right? But what I'm going to do is we're going to get our first recipe... Right, and we're gonna program you for this, right? But I'm gonna specify that, and you're gonna do all items and then put slots are consumed. And external C means the result of the crap crafting operation will go to the output buffer, but remaining items like buckets or master infusion crystals will stay in the input. Cool? So we're gonna apply that, uh, and we're gonna remember the slots for this thing. Cool? So now if I throw a stack of this in here and turn this off, boom. We got a lot of Prudentium Essence, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Boom. We got a lot of Prudentium Essence. How fast was that? Way faster. Uh, now the next tier is this guy. So again, we're going to do the same thing. And it's going to be all external crafting. Apply. And we do that. And boom. We got a bunch of Intermediate Essence. Sweet. Cool. And then we're going to do the same thing here. All external C apply. Oops, that's the wrong one. You are going to be all external C. And you need to also be reminded that you're that, not that. Cool? Beautiful. And I put that in there, and we should have gotten a couple of blues. Nice. So we do that, and we do that, and we're cool. Very nice. I like it. Cool. And then this last one will be how to turn Supremium into Supremium. Superium into Supremium. I can words, I promise. Sweet, all external C. And that should be cool. So then we put our interface here. We put these dudes in. So now if I wanted something like seven more of these, that's going to use 1,792 Inferium Essence to craft. Sweet. That's crafting way faster, as you can see, than the previous one, right? And if I really wanted to, I could speed this up by saying to transform a stack of Inferium at a time into Prudentium, and I might do that later. But I think for now, we're probably cool. Very nice. And I'm just going to keep an eye on this for a sec to make sure it behaves, but I expect it will. Looking fine to me. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. Nice. So now I want to get Inferium Tier 5 seeds. So that's going to need eight of each type of, of stuff, right? So I'm going to want eight of you. And we're going to want eight of you. We're already low on Inferium, aren't we? Rip. Rip Aroni. It's all right. We'll be fine. Uh, I can get Inferium, I think. 
You know where I might have Imperium? Over at my mob farm. Don't mobs drop Imperium? Yeah, they do. Cool. So there's eight of that. There's eight of that. And there's eight of that. Nice. Beautiful. All right, so now what we want to do, get Inferium Tier 1 seeds, and upgrade them to Tier 2, and upgrade them to Tier 3, and upgrade them to Tier 4, and upgrade them to Tier 5. It used a lot of Inferium to do that, but Tier 5 Inferium seeds are the bomb. They generate a lot of Inferium Essence. And we're going to now upgrade these guys. Now, if I wanted to, I could get Insanium Essence to get Tier 6 seeds. Um, I don't know if I can get Insanium Essence at this point. Can I? Because that would require... So if I wanted to get Insanium Essence times 8, that would be 32 Supremium Essence. I doubt that I have enough. Yeah, we're short by 7,537, 35 Essence. I mean, we're a little bit short. We've got about less than 10% of what we need. So we're not going to do that, right? We'll get to, to, to 10, 10, 10 Inferium Seeds, right? So first step in this whole process of doing things is I'm going to remove you and you and you. Cool. And look how smart he was to put everything back. Now, if I put just this in here, right, and then we watering can this dude, we'll see that he's already at, at stat three because it's one plus one plus one equals three, right? Now, when he spreads to the adjacent crop, watch what's going to happen. Boom. And then the seeds are going to go into here. And they're going to be compared with the seed that's in this slot. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I have to add you to the lists. Hang on. You have to become this, and you have to become this. Cool. I'm going to put you in here for a minute so that you work again. All right. So he's going to be compared with these two slots. And if the stats on that seed are greater than either of those two, he'll get placed in the appropriate place. How cool is that? So now we water it again, right? La 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 la. We're watering our plants. And they are a little bit slow to spread, but they get there eventually, I promise. Please get there eventually. Please don't make a liar out of me. There we go. So we got two seeds out of that one, actually. Because um, he, I found that like the, the RNG is, you know, like all RNG is a little bit wonky. But let's see what we got. <gasps> that became a four. Sweet. And this guy must have been a one, one, one. And that's why he went into this chest uh, rather than than not. Yep, one one one. And this guy presumably is also a one one one. Correct. Now, reminder: this seed just got broken, right? So he was a one one one. We know that he went into this inventory and made his way over there to be compared. Um, now, if if this one happened to be better than this one, he would have replaced it, but he's not. So he went into this chest. Cool beans. How great is that, huh? And this also solves the problem of occasionally the middle crop can grow before the left or right side are fully grown. Let's see if we got lucky. <gasps> we got a five. Nice. Cool. Oh. We got another auto growth, right? So that one just happened to spread while we weren't watering, which is fine. Uh, and he's just not, he, he's, he, that was the situation where this guy isn't fully grown, so we know that seed is not going to be as good, right? So the last seed that went in there is probably junky. It's probably a 1-1-1. It's not as good, uh, and we know it's not as good uh, on account of the fact that it grew before this one was fully grown. Yep, and it's a 1-1-1, so it went into the junk chest. Cool. Which, by the way, I'm going to turn into a, into a, oh, there we go. Sweet. It's working. Now, you'll also notice that we're pulling crop sticks out of this slot. This is interface channel two. This is where our crop sticks are coming out of, as well as going into. Nice. Now, I'm guessing that that time we did not have a lot of luck uh, with our with our crossbreeding. And that was an instance where the crossbreed was just not as good as what's already there. Right? So, see, it's a 1-1-2. One, one, so, that's a total of four. So, it's not better than either of these two. So, when it went into this chest, it was pulled out and dropped into that chest. Rather than getting dropped into this chest. Right? Cool, cool, cool. It's working, y'all. So literally, I just stand here and water these 
uh, and and when it when it grows, and I don't even have to water them, right? Like you know, naturally over time, I could like just walk away from this for half an hour and come back, and they'd probably be you know pretty well advanced. Like I've tested this a little bit thus far, and it seems pretty perfect, right? So if this seed is better, it's gonna land in this chest. Hopefully, it's not better. Wah, wah, wah. It's just not a better seed. I mean, we can validate that to be sure because that's what I'm doing right now, but it's it's probably not better. Womp, womp. All right, let's see what we got. Come on, chief. There you go. Cool. Yeah, it was a one, two, one. So the attributes were a little bit different than previous seeds, but it still totals up to a four, so it's just not overall good. Hey, that one was a five. Nice, so we've, we, we, we broke and replaced, replaced it, nice. So that's cool. All right, now that one's probably not gonna be good because he grew before this one was fully grown. So he's gonna land in this chest and get routed over to this chest. That one just grew though, so we have a chance. We might, we might be lucky. And this, this number over here flashes briefly to show you what the number was in the chest, but it gets pulled out pretty quick. Ooh, it's an eight. That was a good upgrade. Nice. Now, if I wanted to be smart, I would water this block, which means it's not affecting this block. And then we're cool, right? Look at that. I'd love to get like a not watering can for this. Like, what do we have? Do we have crystal growth accelerators or something? Uh, crystal growth accelerator. Uh... Isn't there like something, something, something growth thingies? Uh, so there's growth lenses from Astral we could look into. There's totally the Astral Ritual, that's an option. The Lamp of Growth from Thalmcraft. Growth Accelerators, plants above it, faster from Mystical Agriculture. That's not a terrible recipe. I'm wondering how good it is though. How good is it? All right guys, so I made one of these. We're gonna see if we notice any difference. Uh, and I know that if you stack them underneath there, it'll help. So my understanding is, and I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is how this works, is you place this growth accelerator under a block. Oh, I just heard it grow, so that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. All right, let me make a few more of those, because that, I mean, like, that was anecdotal, but... Hey, good. Cool. So that was a better seed, so that's nice. Um, like, part of me wants to put it under that one and see what happens now that he's low right did another one just pop i can't tell i'm gonna i'm gonna make a few more of these right so what we're gonna want let's get 12 of them of that so that means three of these and i'm gonna pop these three right under here we're gonna see how fast this grows right and, uh, I mean, that one's growing faster than I think it was before. I might be crazy, but it seems like it at least. And, I mean, that guy grew pretty quick. Didn't that just grow, like, three times right there? That is pretty cool beans right there. I think that thing's pretty power- ooh. That feels pretty powerful to me. That feels really powerful to me. I make a few more of those things, and I could speed this whole thing up a lot quicker, I think. Let me- let me try- how many more can I get of these? I got 12 more of those and made that six down there. Right? Now I'd love it, I'd love it. Let's see what happens, right? So I'm gonna help with the tick acceleration, like growth acceleration of this. Now, speaking of tick acceleration, I mean, speaking of tick acceleration, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if those are tile entities that 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 tick. Because if they are, we'll find out very quickly. I'm listening for for growths. That may or may not do anything, but we'll find out. All right. Uh, I'm gonna babysit this for a few minutes, and we'll be back. All right, guys. We just planted a new one here, and look how fast that grew. That was really quick compared to this guy that ain't moved at all yet. So I think a couple more under, wow, that was really fast. I like those growth accelerators, I do. I really do like those growth accelerators. I would like more, please. Yeah, <laughs> because this is how Dyer do. 
Gonna use some diamonds uh, and some smooth stone. Do we have smooth stone auto crafting yet? Probably not. Seems way too smart for something that I would do. Seems way too smart to move. The poor dire wolf. Oh, that's right. Because I updated the mod pack, remember? Uh, mechanism. Mechanism, please. Config. General settings. No, I think it's under client settings, right? Enable machine sounds false. And remember, uh, for that one, you actually have to log out and log back in for it to apply, but it's all good. So this guy should be coming in now. Yep, there's our smooth stone. So give me a bunch of that. Hooray, eight. So I, I want to focus on it here, right? But we also want that one a little bit. So let me route this around here a little bit still. I feel like that's a pretty cool move right there. Right? Uh, and maybe that'll help. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. All right, guys, call me crazy, but I feel like this is definitely, these, these growth accelerator things are really working quite significantly. So like this is growing just as fast as if I was watering canning it. Um, now it feels like to me, tick accelerating with the time in a bottle does nothing. So that's one point. Um, and point two is that it doesn't feel like the growth accelerators underneath the center crop stick are doing anything. Uh, I've still got a bunch down there. I've, I've now adjusted the number of growth accelerators I have such that there's a lot under the, the, the two that are like actually growing. And there's not quite as many, but still enough under the center one. It doesn't seem like it's helping um, to do that, right? Watering can still seems like it makes an improvement. I might be wrong, right? It's anecdotal, but it feels to me like not a big improvement, right? So, but my automation system is working pretty nicely and I'm happy about that. And we are definitely growing the individual seeds very quickly. Like, see how quickly those grew? See how quickly those grew? It feels to me like every so often, like maybe every five or 10 seconds, um, each one of the growth accelerators underneath this thing adds some growth to it. That's what it feels like it's doing. And I'm thinking they don't work on the center crop. Stick. So it's probably actually just what they probably do is say like, just, Hey, find the seed above it and make it grow once. Right. And that doesn't work on a crop stick because there is no seed there. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, but that's okay because, Hey, we still increase the speed at which we, we, we have things happening here because of the fact that, uh, you know, hey, there we go. We're speeding this stuff up, right? Now, I'd love to know what other watering can options I have, right? Because there's the Supremium watering can, and I feel like that thing's really fast, but I bet it's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, man, it needs another star. It needs a bunch of things, to be honest with you. It's all good, though. Yeah, look at that. That thing just broke and replaced, and it's already fully grown. So that is awesome. Also, we've gotten a decent amount of Imperium Essence out of this so far. So this system, I'm really proud of, right? Like, I, I mean, we worked a lot on the last couple episodes making this go. I feel like it's pretty stinking good. I feel like it's pretty stinking good. Um, how many item cons are we? One, two, three, four. Right? One, two, three, four, five item conduits. That's cool beans right there. Look, they both just got replaced. And they're already growing really quickly. I expect this one to shoot up in a few seconds and it'll go boom, 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 boom. And it just did. There you go, nice. Now this seed, because it, it, it occurred when this one wasn't fully grown, is not gonna be as good. So I expect that to go to the junk chest. And it did, All right? The junk chest, by the way, filling up. I should probably do something about that. Uh, I feel like item conduits, uh, I want a couple more. You know what? I'm going to use my ultimate logistical transporters here for now, just to be just to be groovy. And I'll probably, I mean, ultimately, there's no reason to even keep any of these seeds, right? Realistically, what I should do is just say, put the trash can there. This was more, I always put, if I'm going to trash something, I always like it to go into a chest first to make sure I'm not trashing something I really wanted to keep. Right. But I mean, looking and thinking about this right now, I don't feel like there is a reason to do that anymore. I think what I can do is just replace you with a chest, uh, change you into a trash can and call it a day. Because I've already actually had the system gum up once because the chest filled up. So if the chest fills up, 
if, if this was still a chest and it fills up, the system locks down because this thing stays full of a junky seed. So that's bad times, right? We don't want that to happen. Wow, that stuff grows quickly sometimes. Let's see, what do we got here? Boom, 20, nice. I like that number. Look how fast it grows, I love it. Now imagine a farm that has a bunch of these under it generating resources for us. I'm just saying. Cool beans. Cool beans. All right, so now that now that this is running, right, I'm just gonna leave this alone for some time. And when I come back later, we should see something better. Right, I don't need to babysit it. I don't need to sit there and watch it. Everything is automatically running the way it should be. And I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. So yay. The only, uh, like if I wanted to, I could like make these guys be like the glowstone ones, which I think I might do real quick. Like, I want glowstone item conduits. So you can go in here with two each, right? So that's 12. Right? Magma crucible, fluid transposer, tick accelerate the thing. Yeah, I forgot how much power you draw. I really need to get the upgrades going. Like, we don't even have Enderium autocrafted yet, but I'm having fun. That mystical agriculture build, though, that was a lot of fun to make, and I'm really proud of it. I'm really quite proud of it. Oh, really? You've got more? Did I math that wrong? Two hundred millibuckets each, right? Oh, that's right. You don't get. It's not one hundred. I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking the wrong amount. Okay. So three more item conduits. Used quartz works, right? Really quickly, too, in theory. Yeah, I was thinking redstone where you get 100, but it's not. It's You get 250 glowstone per. So, totally mathed that wrong. But what I would like to do... I'll do that. I would love to do that, but ugh, it means I have to do all kinds of things. So, we'll see. All right, so... Uh, a little bit of time has passed, but not that much. Not that much time has passed. It really hasn't been that much. And we're already at 29, 29 seeds. That is cool. That means like the next time a seed upgrades, we're going to have 30s. And that's what's up. Because 30 is the max, right? That's as high as you can go. So that is cool. Um, this thing just ran by itself. And it's working, guys. Now, I did, I did run outside and make a quick wood farm uh like i i mean wood farm as in a patch of dirt with a bunch of saplings on it that i then watered into a watering can um and and accumulated a hefty amount of wood to hold me over until i get back to automating this i think my next task uh if i'm being honest with you guys would be to uh kick it over to the rats mod i want to get back into rats mod i want to i want to play with rats more is that a is that a terrible plan uh and i also real quick made a dark axe fully upgraded um so I can do something like this. Hello. That is what's up. That is 100% what's up. So I do want to play with rats next. I want to, uh, next episode and the episode after that, I probably will be playing with rats a little bit. Uh, my plan, therefore, would be, look at all this wood that we've got now. Hooray. We're good on wood. Wood 404. That'll hold me over for a little bit. Um, my plan is th is thus. You ready? Um, next episode, I'm going to I'm gonna look at the rats. I want to look at the rat upgrades that we can get. Uh, I want to look at combining the rat upgrades. And I'd like to build um, rat upgrades such that uh, things are cool. So for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.